Hi, in this video we're going to build a coal pits oscillator and in particular we're going to build a coal pits oscillator that will produce a sine wave that's slow enough that we can actually observe it using an Arduino. A coal pits oscillator consists of an LC network which we can see over here and on the right hand side it also has an amplifier, in this case a transistor amplifier. I did try it with a few different other transistor values if you don't have a 2N222 and you want to give it a try yourself, all of these ones worked. On the breadboard, it looked like this. The components that derive the frequency that the oscillator is going to operate at are C1, C2, and L1. In my case, I didn't have a 5 millihenry inductor, so I actually used 5 in a row, which is what you could see in uh, the breadboard over here. So let's do a quick test run and see what we get from the oscillator. We use our me Arduino to measure. According to the Arduino we're getting about 18 kilohertz. Molly the cat is cross-checking the work on the oscilloscope. Here's what we see on the scope. So as well as creating a waveform that an Arduino can see, we can do a couple more cool things with this circuit. One, we could change out the component values to make it go a lot faster. So if I was to put in a 103 picofarad set of capacitors instead, and maybe like a 0.01 millihenry inductor, we would be able to get a frequency that's a lot quicker. And the other cool thing is that the equivalent circuit for a crystal is actually very similar to an LC circuit. So we can actually use this circuit to make a crystal oscillator. This one's running at 4 megahertz. So that's the Colpost oscillator. Thanks for watching.